Rebel fam, what's good? It's your guy, Mac the Rebel, back with another video for you today. Family, listen, man, it has been a great, great day, long day, but a really good day today in Washington, D.C., and it's always a good day, especially when there is a sneaker pickup involved, and that is what we have for you today in today's review. So before we even get into that, Rebel fam, I have to welcome you to the channel, to my new subscribers. Thank you for just taking the time out of your day to click that subscribe button. Thank you for liking videos, commenting, and sharing now that you're here. To my returning Rebel fam members, y'all listen. It's time to bring that energy. Y'all know how we get down. We got a nice shoe to talk about, man. Um, and I'm gonna be real with you. It's nice to the point where I look at it and I'm like, okay, cool. It's a little bit different, but there are some things about it that make me not want to keep the shoe in my collection. I know, I know. You're like, Mac, why in the world did you come on here with all this energy talking about how dope the shoe is and now you're talking about you don't even want to keep it? Well, Rebel Fam, we are going to get into that and more on today's review of the Nike Air Max Terra Hot Step Nocta collab in its black and yellow colorway. cool shoe really well made shoe but there is a detail on it that i am just not quite feeling to the point where i may or may not hold on to these reason being is because one i love me a solid two-tone sneaker black and yellow is always a beautiful color palette and combination to go with but i also hit on the shot drop for the yellow toes on the sneakers app so honestly it's like a toss-up do i keep the noctas the more wearable the air max the insulated shoe or do i keep the more hype i'm not gonna say more limited but the more hype more classic jordan one hmm, to be determined we will see but regardless family in today's video we are talking about the nike nocta hot step air terra or nike step terra hot max whatever the combination of it is we are talking about this shoe right here by drake's staple company nocta is of course as we already know collab with nike and they have done some amazing drops we've already seen the black nocta hot step air terra we've seen the white nocta hot step air terra and now we are given a black and yellow hot step air terra as well there is a reason why i loved this shoe at the beginning and it is because of the black and yellow color paletting as you already know if you've seen my review of the all black hot step air terror i'll go ahead and tag that right there but for those of you who have seen that video i am a fan of the shoe i really am i love this beautiful thick composite leather i love the hints of yellow that are on this shoe i love the hints of the nike branding that go along the shoe i love how nike has incorporated the nocta logo right here on the tongue and i I just love the fact that the shoe, although deemed to be very simple, is also very wearable. It can be worn with multiple things. It, be, it can obviously be worn for a, a, a normal stroll, a walk. It can be actually dressed up a little bit. I have some friends who I've actually seen wear this shoe and they have been able to style it up with some really clean, and I mean really clean outfits, Rebel fam. So let us go ahead and talk about the sneaker, man. Look, one thing we're gonna notice, look, as you guys already know, the black and yellow color paletting is beautiful on this shoe. It gives you that Pittsburgh Steeler, Pittsburgh Pirates, black and gold, black and yellow, black and yellow type of vibe to it, to a point where it's like, you know what? Maybe this would be a good piece to have in the collection. And family, if I'm being very honest with you, had I not hit on the yellow toe Jordan 1 and the shot drop, I probably would have held on to this shoe a lot longer than what I planned to do. So yes, you are gonna get an on foot at the end of the video, but there's one detail about this shoe that just made me kind of squeamish, not squeamish to the point where I'm sick, but it's just, it feels like the she was cheap with one detail. The reason why I am not 100% feeling this shoe, a solid 80% of the shoe I like. The 20% comes actually from that back yellow piece right here on the bottom of the shoe. Now everything else is dope. G-Tech logo branding right now on the back, you know, all types of ventilation for your foot to be able to breathe, even though this is a primarily composite leather upper, mesh interior, Nocta branding right there on the inside of the shoe on the inner sole in light blue, like we've seen on all of the Nocta the hot steps up until this point and of course black and yellow outer sole with the g-tech branding right there on the shoe as well this back yellow piece rebel fam okay 
it, although it is the most eye-catching part of the shoe, it is also the most irritating. Not only does it look like it is cheaply painted, I'm not sure, matter of fact, let me make sure I can get up. So you guys see how uneven the paint lines are. If you just look at the shoe, it does not match the gold that is on the bottom or the gold Nike branding accents that are along the shoe. You really can't tell from my camera, but this actually looks like a more of an orange color right here borderline going to orange and it's not very well painted it's chipping it just makes the shoe look cheap honestly i wish this back piece right here if you would have kept if you would have kept this piece all black and gave us a yellow interior yes i know that would have been close to the black and silver the og black knock the hot step that already came out but if you ask me i think that would have been a much better look for this shoe or even just make this yellow like a more vibrant gold color and give it that glossy type of paint instead of this like crayon looking type of finish right here it just doesn't look great rebel fam it looks good but it's like nike and nocta could have done a little bit better with that regard right there and then there are some pieces and now this may just be my pair but there are some pieces of the shoe that don't look like look, look, look at this guys like look at that you guys see that can you guys see that right there? Can you guys see that little, those little specks of black right there on the shoe? Maybe you can't, maybe it's my camera. But anyways, I can actually see little specks of where paint has actually like almost chipped off or rubbed off a little bit. And it's almost like a reddish looking color. Honestly, for me, that's kind of a deal breaker, especially with these terrible paint lines. It just looks, just doesn't look very well prepared in my opinion. But regardless, Rebel Fam, if this is a shoe for you, let me know in the comment section. The shoe is cool, don't get me wrong. And I love my black pair. I love the white pair as well, but y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Nike, Hot Step, Air Terra in the black and yellow colorway. Solid shoe. Like I said, I love the laces, man. I love the Hot Step look. I love that yellow Nike logo branding all around the shoe. The yellow air unit, the shoe is solid. I think these are a good cop for anybody wanting a nice black and yellow sneaker. There are some things where you're thinking to yourself, does $180 USD plus tax and shipping, does that really make sense for a shoe like this eh, it depends on how you look at it black and yellow sneaker would you rather have this would you rather have the jordan one taxi that drops on september 24th it, it's a little bit of hit or miss it's really all perspective and it's really on how you think you should go with regards to your closet in my personal opinion as far as sizing goes in the hot step air terras these are a size 12 i go true to size in these they are very snug all right and you will be able to see on the on foot at the end of the video my foot is is a little bit restricted in the shoe but I can tell that the more I actually wear the shoe the more it is going to conform to my foot and give me a more custom feel so you know take that how you want if you want to go a half size up I would actually be okay with you doing that especially if you want a more comfortable fit from the beginning do not go a half size down all right if you go a half size down just be prepared to take the inner sole out of the shoe just be just to be able to get to your foot inside of it all right so you guys have been warned i have letting you know i'm letting you know right now do not go a half size down in these shoes go true to size for a snug fit go a half size up for a more traditional fit it is completely up to you rebel fam as far as the box goes you do get a nocta hot step Nike Air Terra box. I mean, the box is, you know, pretty nice and simple. AWR right there on the side. Nike logos, co co coloring right here with brown and gray on the top. Nike logo right here. And then we have that size tag right there that reads size 12. Tag does read Hot Step Air Terra Nocta Black and University Gold. I wish the University Gold was painted a little bit better. That's all I'm going to say. In the comment section, I need you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Nike Hot Step Air Terra in its black and University Gold colorway. Is this a shoe for you? Is this a shoe that you are going to cop? Is this a shoe that you already copped? Or is this just one of those shoes where you're like, you know what? I passed on it, but maybe I'll go back on it now that I've seen the review. Or maybe I'll just keep passing all together. Regardless, Rebel Fam, I love you. I appreciate you. Enjoy the on foot at the end of the video. And I will see you in the next one. And we out. Peace.